Since 2020, a good deal in real estate has gotten harder and harder to find, and there's no end in sight for that. This has made, and continues to make, more and more people look to new construction to fill their housing needs. And you don't have to be a millionaire to buy new construction in our area. Right now, in Montgomery and Bucks County, PA, there are 265 new construction houses advertised on the MLS, the Multiple Listing Service. Most builders list on the MLS one of each of their models that buyers can choose from. That translates into many more than 265 new home sites where buyers can shop for the perfect home, including condos, townhouses, twins. The nice part of this is that you will most likely not have to fight another buyer or get into a bidding war, forego inspections, nor get yourself into a deal that's not good for you just to have a house. And you don't have to spend a fortune either. New construction right now ranges from $264,000 for a two-bedroom condo in Norristown, all the way up to a massive $3.3 million gorgeous single home in New Hope. Don't let that deter you, though. There are plenty of new homes in the three dollars to $400,000 range. Although the average new home will run you $820,000, the median new home is only $687,000. So there's plenty to choose from. Expect to pay about 295 to 306 per square foot, just kind of a rule of averages in our area. There's also something to be said for the choices you'll have when you pick your house. You can choose the kitchen you want, the appliances, the hardware you want to choose, put outlets where you want them, get an addition to make a room larger, or an additional finished space, like in an attic or a basement, for example. Although these will all have to be within the builder's parameters, you will have choices, and everything will be new. So with all that going for it, is new construction the perfect deal? Well, not so fast. There are several things to watch out for if you're going to own new construction. So here are the top five things that people get hurt with and how to avoid them. Runs, drips, and errors. Remember that old paint commercial? Well, it's not just paint drips you need to worry about. Poor grading and drainage can lead to basement issues. Poor workmanship can lead to plumbing leaks. Windows not caulked properly can lead to leaks and mold. Upside down or reverse wired sockets, faucets run hot when it should be cold. Workmanship is not me knocking builders. It's that everyone who's done anything has done it for the first time at some point, and the guy caulking your windows or running your plumbing could be there on his first day. Number two, faulty products can be a nightmare for new homeowners. Hardware in the kitchen, faucets, doorknobs, railings, windows that don't stay up. I've even seen warped doors that either don't stay open or won't close all the way. Number three, humidity and rapid changes in temperature and moisture wreak havoc on a house during construction. This can lead to cracks in cement and walls, warped floors, nail pops, stains, and more. Long periods of rain without the sun can exacerbate all those problems and lead to mold issues and other dampness. Four. The actual price of the house, when you see the price of the house online or the MLS, that's the starting price. After you pick your model, you select your lot. Got to put it somewhere. That typically ranges from ten dollars to $20,000, depending on the area, the builder, and the desirability of the lot. Then there's the kitchen. I don't like that cheap hardware. You don't like the faucet. The floor color is not to your liking. Don't worry. You'll have a couple of appointments to meet with the design team and fix all that. Although you'll have a few choices within the builder's base packages, you're most, if you're like most people, you'll want other options. Number five, your existing house. First, expect there to be some delays. All the parts for your house, from the nails to the HVAC to the roof tiles, need to be shipped from somewhere. That's an issue these days. And we're in a time where labor is sometimes really hard to find. But your house may also be done sooner than originally predicted. The weather has a lot to do with this. A mild winter, which allows workers to continue building, can bring your project in ahead of schedule. That's why builders give you a range of time. Now, let's talk about your existing house. If you need to sell your current house to buy this new one, the builder will not allow you to make your offer contingent on selling your house. In other words, you can lose your deposit if you're not prepared, prepared to close when they're ready. Now I'm going to give you three things you can do to avoid these problems 
pretty much entirely. The first is hire a home inspector. Before closing, you'll have the opportunity to walk through with a manager or foreman and create a punch list of things that need to be done. This is where you want to make sure you've negotiated the right to bring a home inspector. A home inspection takes about two and a half to three hours and a punch list only takes about 20 minutes. So you'll have to allow them time to prepare for this and don't just surprise them. Have an attorney look things over for you if you have any questions about contracts. Number two, watch the numbers. Make sure you're running a tally each time you meet with the design center. Those numbers can add up quickly and if you're financing, you want to involve your lender. It's never a good idea to surprise your lender with a $100,000 difference. Yes, that's entirely possible with upgrades, bump outs, etc. Also, the builder may throw in a finished basement if you use their lender or title company, so make sure you and your realtor ask about that. If you use them, keep in mind to keep them in the loop and don't assume the builder's doing it. Even though they're part of the team, they are separate entities. Number three with your existing house. You can be the this could be the biggest hurdle for people. New construction can take six to nine months or more in some cases. The biggest mistake sellers make is waiting too long, especially in a seller's market. Don't assume your house is going to sell in a day for 70 offers over your asking price. Plan this part early and put in contingencies when possible, like a rent back, for example. Can a buyer allow you to stay in the home for a short period of time? Now, is your house ready to sell? Have you done all the preparations to get top dollar? Is the lender working with the right amount of proceeds for your down payment? Also make sure you have cash left over for any new appliances and furniture you may need in the new house. It's a detail often overlooked until right before closing where the buyer goes out, finances a truckload of furniture, and throws the ratios and credit score out of whack. It happens more than you think. If you'd like a list of new construction homes, shoot me an email and let me know your areas and price range and I'll be happy to send you a link. You can look around with addresses and pictures and everything. Free of charge with no obligation. Now, I do this this way because with new construction, it's not all on the open market yet and I keep this out of my competition's hands so don't have access to this data. And if you do have a house to sell, ask me about my guaranteed sale program where we'll buy your house for 95% of full value. As for details, because there are obviously conditions and not every house qualifies. Look down below in the description for a link to a free handy checklist for getting a house ready to sell. And we'll also send you a free new construction checklist. No cost, no obligation. This is Bill Eves, Associate Burke with Remax Event Salem, licensed agent with Remax New Jersey. And as always, thanks for watching.